UCR and its coordination as well as providing shelter and a lot of the other facilities? Well, it's, it's coordination, but it's also being responsible. You know, in a situation like this, you need to have someone who is vulnerable responsible for providing the protection and assistance to the refugees. Um, what we're setting, setting up here is basically a refugee camp for 80,000 people. And 80,000 people in any environment requires a lot of resources, it requires food, it requires water, it requires medical care, it requires uh, schools, electricity, uh, lighting, um, getting rid of the sewerage, getting rid of uh, the garbage. Um, so with our partners, we're, we're trying to, um, again, turn this piece of desert into, um, into a livable refugee camp. And uh, it will take time, but um, it is incrementally uh, improving by the day. And behind us, we've got tents for accommodation, yeah. but you're trying to move to prefabs for yeah. winter that's coming on. Yeah, this is a pretty hostile environment to have um, people living in tents, not only during the summer months, but winter is going to be particularly cruel because you have high winds coming across the plain, which will just um, rip these tents to shreds, and we're already seeing that during the, during the summer months as well. So we're trying to ensure that the tents are turned Just try. 